Good day, uh, dear traders. That is uh, Anthony Cross, senior trader here at the Finmex. Uh, so basically, right now we are meeting for the crude oil, okay, uh, inventories report, uh, which is going to be uh, in the 10 minutes time. Okay, so for this uh, we will need to first of all check uh, the latest news. Yes, and. Uh, what actually going to happen in the future uh, or happen like this week okay so accordingly this news uh, we will check and open the trade for today's earning report okay okay so considering what we have <coughs> So as I see, oil rise uh, about the 1.4 percent, okay, on Wednesday this, like last morning. Uh, it was because uh, the oil is gaining the support due to the sign that OPEC and Elliott producers will continue to curb supplies in December. A weaker uh, United States dollar and asset traders covered short positions ahead of uh, industry report on the United States crude oil inventories. So what does it mean? Uh, basically all this stuff happened yesterday uh, despite the fact that uh, crude oil inventories uh, did not happen yesterday. It's gonna happen today. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to do? We are going to check uh, the current price uh, for the oil. 53. Okay. So what we are expecting is uh, today to trade for down, okay, because um, the oil is not expected to get into the minus. Yes, it's expected to make the same volume uh, of barrels of oil. Yes, so nothing will be changed. Okay, we will just uh, trade for the oil for down because uh, supply and demand, and nothing is gonna change. Okay. And you know nowadays uh, most of the people are considering the crude oil, yes, uh, WTI, uh, as on the forex, uh, considering to be very dangerous as the fact that, uh, let's say, uh, it's jumping all around all the time and uh, sometimes people are not finding the explanation on it, on the news, on the investing.com or something like this. So, and considering uh, uh, tomorrow, okay, uh, in the end, when the market will be closed, we are going to have uh, the rolling, okay, of the crude oil prices, okay. So uh, the price are gonna be changed in the any other direction, okay. Uh, that is what I want to tell you about the forex, okay. So after the weekends, the price of the crude oil are gonna be changed differently, okay. So in that case, you need to be prepared for this also. Maybe you will have any question after the weekends why oil rise or why oil fell down. It's just because of the rollover of the price of the crude oil, okay? So let us uh, see what is right now. Okay, probably I'm... Give me a second, I'm signed for somebody. social over there okay all right okay I'm following somebody by the name Alice F unfollow <coughs> okay good so all the trades we are going to make on our own okay so uh, let us start and open first trade follow okay we still have, we will, we will be exactly in the expiry trade. So, considering the investing.com, let me open it on the other screen so it will not disturb us. Investing.com. At the moment, uh, I have the crude oil running for down. Okay.
okay in four minutes we will have this report published like people are expecting not to have any change in the amount of barrels of oil but still uh, you know that it's a crude oil inventory report and everything can happen let us take a look on the US dollar how it's reacting right now okay let us open trade here for up okay so I still I'm still subscribed for somebody or what happened mm -hmm, I'm, not, I'm not subscribed uh, pro probably it's previous trade okay nevertheless uh, so we have still time for crude oil, it's 3 minutes and our report will be published in that time as well. Ok, your USD break the level probably. Let us cover up. In the two minutes data I'm gonna be here. Well agility has started I see. It's jumping right now. We need to shape it so that the We have two minutes still. We are currently at the money. Let's take a look on the GBP and GPY. Oh, buys up a lot. Okay, this point let's open three straight. Okay, crude oil. What happened with crude oil? We have one minute remained for this report to be published. Okay. Okay, let's see if uh, we're going to have any jump in this uh, 30 seconds. Uh, I know crude oil, yes, uh, for quite a long time, so I know that jump might be here. So our Euro USD trades are getting into not the money. Okay, our previous trade. Okay, seven, six, five, two, one. Yes, here we go, it went down. Let's see how it's gonna be. Okay, going down. Let's open trade. Let's see what we need to cover up. Ok, 
Okay, so we have. Okay, we need to get it done. GBP JPY. Okay, we have choose direction for oil. Okay, and consider it for down. So let's still continue our trading there. We have uh, 45 seconds, uh, so these two trades we have done to cover up for the euro using the NGVP GPY. Let's see if uh, it will finish in the money. Here we go, boys. Very good. Okay. So how how much trades we have? Okay, it's uh, rising up a lot. Okay, let's just uh, save up our time. Okay, and uh, cover the oil on uh, some other. And by the way, the oil we don't need to cover, we have it covered already. So, I don't really 
understand why we open this trade. Okay, so considering that, okay, let us choose other, other one, and uh, let's say let us take this one and cover it with the 1,500. and then with 3000 for 30 seconds Okay, what we have here, five seconds remain. Here we go, boss, take the order. Okay, uh, so we get the bag, the 3000, so we need to use it one more time for the same time. For the time of 30 seconds. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, so GBP, GPY is almost there. Okay. And the crude oil. It's uh, way far from the profit. So we already did the coverage, so we don't need to do anything extraordinary. okay good so today we have opened a lot of trades and uh, they're running well today i see that gbp gpy was uh, giving us a green light to open trades and also euro usd went good today also so regarding it okay i wish you all the best and good luck in trading